Okay, so we're going to uh, teach you how to upload a scan from another scanner uh, into your MetaLink uh, profile. So first things first, uh, you're going to open up MetaLink. Hopefully you've done all of this, you've created your accounts, you've installed all the relevant apps. Um, and we're going to go into the case box. We're going to go new case. Let's type in um, uh, the name of the patient. We're going to type in zero to hero here and register and scan. We're going to choose arch, study model, digital study model. Click on the mandible, study model, digital study model. Okay. And before we scan, uh, we're going to attach some files. Okay. So it's going to save this patient. Now, wherever you've uh, uh, put your um, files, you've got to find it. I've lost it over here, zero to hero, here, and I'm going to put in all these files, okay? So I've got two bytes, left and right, an upper scan and a lower scan. And you're going to see it on the file viewer once it starts loading. There it is, okay? Now, on whenever you see a model like this, basically right click hold is to rotate. Um, the middle click, uh, middle kind of scroll button, hold it down, and that's gonna reposition your model, okay? Scroll in and out, that's to zoom in, in and out, all right? You wanna see the byte? Basically, um, yeah, that's, you, you'll, you'll, you'll see it at some point. Okay, so that's it. Okay, so now that we've attached the files to the patient's profile, we need to enter the scan um, uh, function. You don't need to, but if you want to use the model builder, you're going to have to register that attachment uh, as a, an actual scanned model. Because right now, you can attach any file, a photo, a JPEG, um, any file to the patient's profile. So the software is not smart enough to recognize that as the patient's actual scan. So you're going to have to do that manually using the scan software. Now you've noticed that I haven't uh, attached the scan um, um, over here, uh, the scanner. So uh, that's fine. You just click cancel, okay? And we're into the scan um, um, app. We're gonna click up here, Maxilla. And what we're gonna do is we need to upload some stuff. We need to upload the models that we attached to the patient's profile. So import scan data, and there we have it. We have all the, um, kind of like a, uh, the, the two models and the two bytes that we took earlier um, elsewhere, okay? So this is the upper draw. I'm gonna click confirm. There you go, all right. Click lower draw now. Once again, import scan data. Click here. There you go, all right then go to the byte now because you've imported the data it doesn't register the byte so you're gonna have to retake that or reposition the upper and lower draw um, in the right position so once again uh, first occlusion which is usually your right occlusion you're gonna import scan data and you're gonna pick the one that is uh, well supposed to be on the right and I believe it is this one if it isn't, it's okay. We'll just do it the other side. Okay. Yeah, so that looks about right. So what we're going to do is we're going to manually align it. All right. So we're going to move that over here. So basically while your uh, cursor is hovered, it'll turn blue. And then you can uh, middle or oh, the scroll button, hold the scroll button to reposition to rotate. You basically, while it's positioned like that, hold the uh, right uh, button on your mouse to rotate it. Oopsie daisy. Just so that you can see a bit easier. Okay, so that, that's very easy to see now. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna put three uh, I guess uh, markers on the top drawer and you should do it on a triangle so you should do one maybe on the six at the gingival margin over here or kind of like uh, as long as it appears on your scan okay so I'm gonna put one over here I'm gonna put one on my um, uh, tip 
cusp tip of the five over here. And then I'm gonna put my third one on this attachment. All right, then you're gonna align it with this scan, uh, the byte record. So number one, number two, and number three. And it lines, and it lines pretty well, okay? And then you're gonna exactly do, do that exactly the same for the bottom. So I'm gonna pick one on this six at the gingival margin, cast a tip, I want it at the attachment. Scroll in to see a bit better. Once again, tip, edge, and attachment. It's gonna line up, and there you go, okay? So that's good. Um, I'm happy with that 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 side. Now we're going to do the other side. Okay, uh, exit. Click here, second inclusion. Once again, we're going to import scan data, and we're going to choose that second byte. Confirm, and we're going to manual realign. Let's move that over here so I can see a bit better. Oh. Okay, so once again, I'm going to click 1, maybe I'll go for 2 at the tip here, and then 3, okay, then you do the same 1, 2, 3, and that's it, and I really feel that that's quite fine. And then there you go. All right. So everything is nicely aligned. Okay. And then what you're going to do is you're going to complete it. And you choose this first option, which is basically processing the data as is, which will fill in some very small holes, um, potentially, or actually probably not. This is this second option is fill major holes is the software will just kind of like guess. Um, if you've got any small gaps in your scan, it's going to kind of like fill in those holes to how it feels it should be. I don't really choose this option. And then 3D, create 3D principal model. Well, we'll show that in the model um, designer app uh, later. Um, but yeah, usually you will stick for this uh, first option. And that, that's basically it. Now that you've basically converted those attachments that you did right at the start, that you attached to the patient's profile, you've now um, uh, basically registered them as a um, actual uh, scanned model or scanned arch. And now you can use that um, for your um, model builder once it finishes processing.